The stakes are high. That is what Governor Mike Dunleavy is saying about the state's motion to try to toss out a lawsuit brought by the federal government over the state's management of salmon fishing on the Kuskokwim River. Steve Kirch has more about the governor's announcement today. Steve. Mike, Maria, Governor Dunleavy, State Attorney General Trey Taylor, and Fish and Game Commissioner Doug Vincent Lang are arguing this is a fight to maintain Alaska's sovereignty. The group is also reminding Alaskans the state, did, the state didn't ask for this fight. And state officials are now asking a federal judge to reject the Biden administration lawsuit. In May of 2022, the Biden administration sued Alaska after two years of conflicting management emergency orders related to fishery management along the Cusquim River. The conflicting orders are in response to a low salmon forecast, with the federal government's order being more restrictive. For example, the state allowed subsistence fishing along Cusquim River for an eight eligible Alaskan, but the federal order was restricted to only rural residents. Failure to prevail on this litigation will result in the ability, will re severely restrict the ability of most Alaskans to engage in subsistence fishing, including the majority of Alaskan natives who now live in urban areas of the state. But nonetheless, this is a very important case for Alaska. It strikes at the heart of what, uh, in some cases, why Alaska actually became a state. To be able to manage its own resources was a big part of that. Fisheries was a big part of that. Additionally, Dunleavy says, under the Alaska National Interest Lands Conservation Act program, ANILCA, the federal government only has the authority to restrict or close areas to fishing, not to completely replace a state management order and institute its own version. All right, thank you.